Franklin TV Sports presents exciting Franklin High School girls field hockey. Tonight on a beautiful fall evening in Franklin, Mass at the Beaver Street Field, the Panthers with a record of 8-0-1 take on the Patriots of Concord Carlisle High School who come to town with a mark of 7-1-1. Hi neighbors and welcome to our telecast. I'm Pete Royce working alongside Melissa Marchese and Chris Leverone. This is a matchup made in heaven. We have two teams that are in the top 10 in power rankings in Division I across the state of Massachusetts. The Panthers are ranked number five in Division I in the latest MIAA power rankings. And just two notches below are the Patriots of Concord Carlisle at number seven. And both teams play in Division I. Talking to coach Michelle Hess before the game, she said she purposefully scheduled Concord Carlisle because she knows they're good and she wants that level of competition to get ready for the second half of the season, then on into playoff competition. So credit coach Michelle Hess for scheduling a real good, strong opponent here today in the Patriots of Concord Carlisle. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. First for the visitors from Concord Carlisle, starting in goal will be a senior, Lorena Neptune. Also starting will be Lindsay Piper, a senior, Alex Cardews, a junior, Lisi Son, a junior, Julia Lambert, a junior, Kate Francini, a sophomore, Hadley Swenson, a junior, Kate Lyons, a senior, Megan Fairbank, a senior, Emma Gebhardt, a senior, and that's your starting one more. Grace Baker, a senior, starting for coach Jackie Turner and the Concord Carlisle Patriots. On the other side of the letter, ledger, the Patriots under head coach, uh, the, the Panthers under head coach Michelle Hess will start this way. Caitlin Carney, the senior captain, will be a forward midfield. At defense, Ella Griffin, the sophomore. At defense, Lindsay Dennett, a junior. At midfield, Sophia Cuneo, a junior. At midfield, Emily Carney, Caitlin's younger sister. She's a sophomore at midfield. Forward will be Peyton Crandall, a senior. Forward midfield, Shaw Downing, a senior. At forward, a sophomore, Haley Wernig, and her game is really coming on, coming on strong. And she is at forward, a sophomore. Also starting will be at midfield and ninth grader Maeve Ralston. She gets the start tonight because Brooke Taylor, the junior midfield defenseman, is somewhat injured and she's not going to get the start. Coach Michelle Hess said she'll see how things progress with Brooke Taylor and she may be inserted into the game a little later on. Rounding out the starting 11, Kaylee Dubrisky, a junior midfielder and in goal for the Panthers, a freshman, she's been great, Devin Barry will start in goal. The officials for today's game are Brian Ferris and Deanne Munn. The Patriots will be in the maroon colors and they'll be defending the goal to your right on your screen. And the Panthers in Breast Cancer Awareness Week will be in home white with the pink breast cancer awareness stockings and light blue trim. We're just about set to get this one underway. Again, what a matchup. The Patriots are started the season 7-0, and and then the last two games they had a tie and a loss, and that's been it for them. So they started really strong. They're still a very potent team. Just a bit of a stumble here in the latter goings. They tied uh, at home against Acton, Acton Boxborough 1-1, and they lost at Lincoln Sudbury, uh, at home to Lincoln Sudbury, two to one. Other than that, it's been all wins. And for the Panthers, eight and zero oh, with one tie against Foxborough. The center pass will come, and it'll be long to the Concord Carlisle Patriots. They'll be going from right to left across your screen. They send it back. We're underway. Long deep shadows. Concord Carlisle will be going into the sun in the first half. spirited st student section for Concord Carlisle on the far side. And the ball is whistled out of bounds. A pass in coming 
for the Patriots. Player re tries to get into heavy traffic and Caitlin Carney steals it. On the right wing it comes for Haley Wernig, the sophomore sensation. Wernig with a nice move, centers it, but it goes past the stick of Peyton Crandall and is picked up in the air by Concord. It now hits a Franklin player. Whistle call, foul called against Concord Carlisle. It's gonna go past the end line and out of bounds. Peyton Crandall will chase it down. We'll see who they award the ball to. I'm sorry, chasing that down was Lindsey Dennett. This is Peyton Crandall with the ball. Goes to the Panthers. She centers it up, deflected and stopped from going inside the scoring circle. Remember, all goals have to be initiated with contact inside. A player has to touch it inside the scoring circle. And here come the Panthers again. The good rush turned away by a defensive back for Concord. Panthers tries to get it through. Peyton Crandall digging for it. And a foul called. I believe this would be the first. No, it's not a penalty corner. It's outside the circle. Panthers with it at the top. This is Emily Carney. She sends it to her sister, the backhander. And the shot, and the shot is tipped in. I believe it was Haley Wernig who tipped it in. We'll try to get the official word. The ball was loose. I think it was Haley Wernig who will get credit for the goal. We'll await word on from the scorer's table on exactly who scored, but the Panthers score with 12.56 left in the first period. What a start. We're gonna say unofficially Haley Wernig. Ball right in front of us. Concord Carlisle. Have to play some catch up here today. Down one goal to none. Whistle stops play. Again, Brian Ferris and Deanne Munn, your officials. And it is Haley Wernig unassisted for the Panthers for the first goal of the game. So we had it right. Panthers trying to add to that lead. They have it on the far side. They send it back inside midfield. And they send it low and out of bounds. I believe this will be for a throw in, pass in coming for the Panthers. The lights have been turned on here. You don't really need them at the moment. Long, tall shadows here as the sun begins to make its way on the western, down on the western horizon. Concord Carlisle steals it. Tipped around and the Panthers take it right back. Emily Carney with it for her sister Caitlin. She gets through up on the left wing and a foul, a touch. It hit a player, a Panther on the knee and the ball will go back to the Patriots. 11.20 left, first period. Franklin won, Concord Carlisle, no score. A quick start for the Panthers. They put some pressure on the offensive zone. This is Shaw Downing. Downing with great control of the ball. Now she fans on it, hit a wrist of Concord Carlisle. And we're gonna have a penalty corner. The first penalty corner of the game. So Franklin will have it. Ball must be touched outside the circle and then you can bring it in to score. And that's what Caitlin Carney did. She took one step in and then she let it rip. Her shot was blocked, however. <clears throat> and the Patriots come back, but nice dig here. But a foul called on Shaw Downing. Here comes Concord. They leave it back. And up they come on a rush. Emily Carney steals it for the Panthers. And she's gonna send it, hits the stick. And then it looked like the head of Caitlin Carney. And now it hits a Concord Carlisle player. 
She is shaken up a little bit. That hit Hadley Swenson pretty hard, the junior. Ball goes to Concord Carlisle, and they lob it. That's going to hit out of bounds. Panthers will have it back. 9.42 left. Double team and a foul called. Deanne Munn right in front of us calls the foul on Concord. Haley Dubrisky gets it over. Comes all the way on the far left side. Still coming through with it is Peyton Crandall. Oh, check it. That, that was not Peyton. This is Caitlin Carney. She spins through, wants to load the backhander, gets the shot, is blocked, a kick, and this should be another penalty corner. Number two in the game, two quick ones called against Concord Carlisle. These are great scoring opportunities, the penalty corners, because you can get the fresh start. Again, it has to be touched outside the circle, then brought in to score. Carney gets it to her sister, back to Emily. Inside, she shoots, rebound, save, the rebound, save. What a job doing, done by the goalkeeper there. That is Lorena Neptune with two or three saves in heavy traffic. And you see the value of the penalty corner, how the Panthers were able to work it in and get off two shots right in front of Neptune, and she made both saves. We stay tied at one. 8-12 to go in the first. Panthers settle it down. This is Ella Griffin. Ella tips it forward. Concord Carlisle covers it. But it's stolen by now to Caitlin Carney. Caitlin inside the zone, comes all the way through. She shoots and scores. Caitlin Carney dribbled it up by herself and pumped it home with 7.53 to go. Panthers scored two goals in 5.03. Caitlin Carney in control the whole time, as you saw. And she whistled it past Neptune for a 2 to nothing Panther lead. Caitlin Carney, the commit to James Madison University to play Division I lacrosse. And she'll still have a lacrosse season ahead of her in the spring for the Panthers. This is Shaw Downing, foul called against Concord and Downing will get the ball going for the Panthers. They lead it two to nothing. Panthers with tremendous pressure here in the first period. Wernig digs for it and makes the steal, but she's called for a foul. Concord sends it low, and that's going to go. Maybe stay in bounds. That's going to stay in bounds. It goes past. No, it went out of bounds at the very last second. Panthers will have it way upfield. Way downfield, I should say. Ball is blocked. Triples back to Concord Carlisle. Now Shaw Downing picks it up for the Panthers. Her ball goes out of bounds. It'll be inserted by Hadley Swenson of Concord Carlisle, the Patriots, to coach Jackie Turner in her fourth year. Swenson loses, losing a stick on the play was Caitlin Carney. That ball was fired and picked out of the thin air by Wernig. No, by Shaw Downing, it goes out of bounds into the stands next to us. Concord will throw it in. This is Grace Baker, the senior, and she sends it out on the left wing. And another foul called against the Panthers. Concord tries to come inside the scoring circle. It's a shot wide, goes past the end line. It'll be coming out the other way for Franklin with five minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first period. Franklin on top, two to nothing. So glad you're with us, fans. We're on Franklin TV and streaming worldwide on the internet on our YouTube. Ha Haley Wernig tries to pass it up. Carney with a run to it. A couple of number twos going for the ball. Carney on defense now.
Concord sends it inbounds. Swenson tips it forward to Patriots in the steal beautifully by Haley Dubrisky for Caitlin Carney. Here comes Carney into the circle. Carney backhands it and a whistle and a foul. This should be another penalty corner coming up against Concord, their third. Remember the Panthers had good looks on their last, no, they do not call a penalty corner. I beg your pardon. We stay at two, play on. Shaw Downing, she centers it up. Carney cannot get to it. Here comes Swenson for Concord Carlisle. Under five to go, Swenson fans on her shot. Dug out there by the Panthers. That's Haley Dubrisky. The ball is kept in by Concord. Going down was Wernig, but it's off of her. And it'll be Concord Carlisle with the ball. Two to nothing, 4.34 to go in the first period. Good crowd on hand here from the Beaver Street Field in Franklin. Nice warm day, temperature about 71 at game time. It will dip down as the sun goes down. Game will probably end in the high 50s, but no problem now. Beautiful fall day. Downing gets it for Wernig. She keeps it in bounds. Haley, the sophomore, lost control a little bit, comes back to try to get a hand in there and balls whistled back again right to our right and be put in by Concord Carlisle with 3.52 to go in the first period. Franklin off to a tremendous start. They lead it 2-0. Inserting it here is Grace Baker. She sends it out of bounds. Panthers will have it upfield. Haley Dubrisky. Haley, the junior. She'll start it. She'll go with a lob. High bouncer to Carney. Caitlin tips it through. Defense closes on her. They take it back in a foul called against Concord Carlisle. It was an interesting lob there by Haley Dubrisky, and Caitlin Carney dug it out. Ball will be inserted from the corner. Shaw Downing will backpedal it. And now she's going to hit it strong, but it hits Haley Wernig, and the ball will go over on the contact to Concord Carlisle, Swenson. Wernig tries to fight through, cannot. Now Emily Carney, it hits Carney, so that's gonna be a foul on her. And Concord Carlisle will have it at midfield. Trying to battle for it there for the Panthers is Maeve Ralston, the ninth grader who got a start today because of the injury to Brooke Taylor. Long drive, that's, that would go all the way through. That would not have counted if it went in because that initiated from outside the 16-yard circle. Concord, though, has it upfield. This is Hadley Swenson, the junior. She's been active here today. And she goes short side. Coming in is Concord, point right in front. Good luck for them. The battle for it in a foul call, and this should be a penalty corner coming up against the Panthers, their first. So two to one in penalty corners. This will be Concord's first one. Let's see what they can do with it. Such a great opportunity. And inserting it will be senior Emma Gebhardt. This is Gebhardt with the ball. And she'll put it in play. It's outside the circle, still outside the circle. Swenson tees up. And again, that wouldn't have counted because she was outside the circle when she launched that rocket. Ball goes past the ba baseline and the Panthers will have it the other way with under 90 seconds to go in the exciting first quarter. Most of the action on the Concord Carlisle side of the field until that last opportunity for the Patriots. And now they take it back. Franklin digs it out, whistle and a foul called against Concord. And the Panthers launch one on the right wing. It stip, hicks the state. Here comes Wernig. Wernig battles for it, cannot win the battle as she was uh, contested by Grace Baker. And the first one, it hit both me and Melissa. How about that? Melissa makes the save. I got the rebound. Dubrisky will put it in bounds. That ball was rocketed. It went off my foot and hit. Melissa right in the leg. No harm, no foul. 40 seconds to go, Downing with it. Shaw Downing for Wernig. Wernig tries to get through, cannot. Coming up on 
30 seconds right now left in the first period. All Franklin so far tonight, today. And a foul called against Julia Lambert. 20 seconds to go. Caitlin Carney inside the circle. She goes down. She continues to play on. No whistle. The ball comes out with 12 seconds to go. And now there is a whistle and a foul called against the Panthers. Patriots launch it. That's going to go out of bounds. And that's going to kill the clock here in the first period. There's the horn. Ending an exciting first period of play. After one, Franklin two. And Concord Carlisle no score. Recapping the scoring, Haley Wernig, the sophomore, got it going on a rebound shot with 12.56 left in the period. And then just five minutes and three seconds later, Caitlin Carney stick handled beautifully came all the way in alone, just kept the ball, kept dribbling, and fired it past Neptune to make it two to nothing Panthers. That game score came with 7.53 left in the first period. No further scoring in that period. So the Patriots are seven, one, and one, ranked seven in the power rankings, and their season has gone this way. They opened with seven straight wins, and then they've had a tie and a loss the seven wins came against Waltham, Wellesley, Newton South, Westford Academy, Wayland, Lexington High School, and Weston High School, and then the tie to Acton Boxborough in the tie in the loss to Lincoln Sudbury. That's some pretty powerful teams that the Patriots play, and hence their ranking as number seven in the state in all of Division I field hockey. For the Panthers, 8-0-1. They haven't lost. The only tie came in game three. After victories over Oliver Ames and King Philip, the tie was to Foxborough <coughs> at Foxborough. And since then, the Panthers have riddled off six straight wins over Taunton, Sharon, North Attleboro, Canton, Attleboro, and Mansfield. The game we had for you here on Franklin TV on Monday. And that's the lineup. The next action after this will be on tomorrow for the Panthers. They go to Milford, so back-to-back -back games for the Panthers. They go to Milford tomorrow, and that's a back to the Hockamock League where the Panthers have won 55 straight Hockamock League games. Next up for Concord Carlisle after today's match will not be till next Tuesday when they travel to Chelmsford High. We're ready for the second period of play. Beautiful start for the Panthers on a spectacular evening here in Franklin. All the recent rains have gone out to sea, I guess. And we are basking in the sunshine. This late afternoon start, a little bit unusual, a 5 p.m. start. So the sun will be down in probably another half an hour or so. And so it'll be a center pass coming up for the Patriots. They won the toss. They get the first half center passes, and then the Panthers will have the third and fourth quarter opening center passes. Concord Carlisle looking for some offense. They've been shut out so far, but only one period down, three to go. All the action on Franklin TV and streaming worldwide on YouTube. Ball slips through the stick of Julia Lambert and now sent out to midfield where the Panthers try to chase it down. And they'll have the hit, free hit, inside midfield. It's going to go from the left side to the right to Shaw Downing, standing all alone. And Downing gets the ball and starts rolling upfield. Downing with great stick control, gets it through to Caitlin Carney. Rashad is blocked, the rebound, tipped away, still working on it. And Neptune goes down for the save. Neptune makes the save. Neptune makes a beautiful save, and they are going to call a penalty corner. That's three now in the game against Concord Carlisle. The Panthers have given up one. So here's the penalty corner. It comes out to Emily Carney, skips her stick. Over on the left side, it was moved over to the, fr the freshman Maeve Ralston. Now the ball is loose and controlled by Bryn Chafee, but stolen back by the Panthers. 
digging for it inside the circle. Emily Carney, she spins, lets it go, and it's going to be sent out and out of bounds. A throw in coming for Haley Dubrisky of Franklin. Dubrisky lobs one sky high to the right. Wernig digs it out. Haley Wernig centers it up to Caitlin Carney. She's inside her turnaround, the rebound, and it goes wide. Goes just to the right of the net as we looked on it and back to the back line of the field. So it'll be a free hit coming for Concord Carlisle. Down only two goals early on in the second period. Bumping going on here as Dubrisky controlled it and she's fouled. And we'll move it up the field a little bit more. Now they'll move it back. Shaw Downing saw her dribble tremendously just a few moments ago. The ice hockey player as well to Haley Dubrisky. Dubrisky out deep. Player goes down, it's gonna be a foul on Concord. Emily Carney does the job. Here comes Emily, her backhander. is touched, gets into the deep corner for Peyton Crandall, centering up for Caitlin Carney. She can't get to it. She boxes out and it's gonna be a foul called against the Panthers with 12 minutes to go here in the second period. Panthers steal it again. Now Concord comes out with it. Some open space to the right. Here come the Patriots. Coming back though, Franklin stops the play and they make the steal. Peyton, no, this is gonna be for the Panthers. That's freshman Maeve Ralston who gets the start and she sends it deep. Peyton Crandall tries to get to it, will not, before it rolls out of bounds on the far side with 11.33 to go in the second period. Getting a little cooler here. It was delightful when the sun was in full force. It's now very low in the sky. As you can see from the long shadows, and the lights will be beginning to take effect pretty soon. And we'll be going from taking off the sunglasses in just a moment. Carney tries to steal it, and a whistle, and she's fouled. She makes the steal. Here she comes, Caitlin Carney, Wernig on the right. Carney comes all the way through, and she shoots and is blocked and knocked out of bounds by Concord Carlisle see what they're going to call here. They're going to say a foul against the Panthers and it'll be Concord Carlisle with the ball deep in their own territory at the 16 yard line is where they usually start this. And here come the Patriots trying to set up a play but deep in their own end. Like along the sideline is Julia Lambert. She's fouled and up further come the Patriots. No, they're going to turn it over and give it to Shaw Downing. I beg your pardon. It hops the stick of Emily Carney. Emily still gets hand in there, but she fouls Concord, and here come the Patriots again with 10-10 to go in the second period. Two to nothing. Panthers with the lead. Shaw Downing settles it at midfield right in front of us, controlling the ball beautifully. You have to hit it only on the flat side of the stick. That's not easy to do, but she did a great job. Now it goes out of bounds and will be sent in by Concord Carlisle. And they get it to midfield. It hops the stick and Shaw Downing has it back for the Panthers. Keeps it in bounds. It's gonna be foul off to uh, Julia Lambert and Haley Dubrisky will get it going for the white and blue with the cancer awareness stockings, a looper by Haley Dubrisky. She's done three of those. It connects to Wernig, now to Caitlin Carney. Carney, she's gonna send it on the backhand on the right wing, covered there by Concord Carlisle's Grace Baker. Hounded by Wernig, and a foul called on Wernig. Free start here for the Patriots from the 16 yard line. Eight fifty nine to go. Downing steals it. Shaw on the right wing. She centers it. It comes all the way through and behind the goal and out of bounds. It'll be coming the other way for the Patriots. 
Franklin ranked number five in the state in the power rankings put out this week by the MIAA. Concord Carlisle, number seven. That's our matchup here today. Caitlin Carney, she goes down, no call. And Concord has it deep in their own end. Fanning on it there on a whiff was Julia Lambert, the junior, to Caitlin Carney inside the circle. She spins through, she shoots, it's blocked. She gets her own rebound. She shoots again, it's blocked again. And Downing will cover it and she's pushed. Downing is pushed by Julia Lambert. And let's see what they call here. It's gonna be a penalty corner. Even though that foul occurred outside the circle, the referee can make a judgment. If it's a strong penalty, they can award a penalty corner and that's what referee Deanne Munn does. The fourth penalty corner of the game. Here come the Panthers on their fourth try. They get it out to Emily Carney, to her sister Caitlin, tips it forward, inside, hops the stick. This is Peyton Crandall with it. Her ball is blocked and now it's blocked the other way. And the Panthers will have it outside at the 16 yard line. Two to nothing, midway through the second period. So glad you're with us fans here on Franklin TV and our YouTube internet channel. Downing will loop it inside. Carney has it, she shoots, rebound. What a save by Neptune again. Carney digs again, trying to launch, she shoots. It's kick saved by Neptune again. Lorena Neptune has been unbelievable in goal for the Patriots. Emily Carney, and she's fouled. Was it inside the circle? I believe it was. No, it wasn't, no penalty corner. Carney will have it. And a foul called again. Here comes Emily, she tees it up. It does not get through. Settled down for Maeve Ralston, the freshman. Tries to center it, cannot. Ralston gets it back, she shoots, and it goes wide. I wanna talk about the Concord Carlisle coaching staff. You know, you've seen some great saves by Lorena Neptune. I wonder if it has anything to do with this fact. Concord Carlisle, one of the few teams we've covered that actually employs a goalie coach for Neptune. And uh, she was expected to be here today as well. So that's unusual. I asked the coach about that. Head coach Jackie Turner said, yep, we have one. And it apparently has paid off dividends. Either that or Neptune has a lot of natural talent. The ball went in, but it was from outside the circle. So that will not count as a score. All scores have to be touched by an offensive player inside the 16 yard circle. That one went through, but it was not touched, so Neptune knew that she didn't need to block it. So sunglasses are off as we're more than midway through the second period, two to nothing. The Panthers with the lead. Other than some great saves by Neptune, this could be a bigger lead than two nothing. Concord Carlisle tries to take it back. Franklin right on it, Carney, and a whistle, a foul called against Concord Carlisle's Alex Carduz. Emily Carney with it. Her shot is blocked by Carduz, but she gets it right back. Backhander by, to Carney, to Caitlin, and she goes down and cannot control it, and it is taken back by Concord, and a foul called against the Panthers, a free hit coming for Concord Carlisle High School. Concord sends it on the right wing. And that ball is gonna be out of bounds. The Panthers will have it. Maeve Ralston, the freshman, gets the start today because of the injury to Brooke Taylor. Concord now sends it back. Franklin turns it the other way. Carney commits a foul. Ella Griffin is in the game now for coach Michelle Hess. Most of the action down on the right side, the Concord Carlisle side of the field. Peyton Crandall. Hustling for it is Wernick, she gets to it. Wernick poking it through. Stolen, Wernick still charging, still gets forward and she centers it to Caitlin Carney. Carney holds the ball in midair. Her backhander, her shot, kick saved by Neptune. 
What a save by Lorena Neptune. Down again, saved by Neptune again. Lorena Neptune has had a save after save after save. Two have gotten by, but she could easily have given up five or six. Rave, Maeve Ralston with the pass in for the Panthers. 3.20 left, it's still two to nothing, Franklin. What pressure, Ralston has been unbelievable. Shaw Downing, she'll send it in. Nothing but Maroon there to take it the other way. And now they commit a foul. Wernig has it, gets by the defense. Wernig comes all the way through and she loses it and she's fouled. Was she inside the circle? Yes, she was. Another penalty corner coming up for the Panthers. That's number five for them on offense. So the inserter is Zofia Cuneo. Cuneo, the junior, has the task of putting it in bounds. Outside the circle are Emily and Caitlin Carney. It goes to Emily. And she'll lob it. She goes high and it's out of bounds. Too strong intended there for Maeve Ralston. Out of bounds. Concord will have it with 219 left. The story of the game has been the two to nothing lead, but more than that, the goalkeeping by Lorena Neptune, a senior, outstanding. Caitlin Carney has it for the Panthers. Tries to send it in, defense covers it for Concord. But the speed of Shaw Downing takes it back and she draws the foul against Swenson. Shaw Downing, tremendous player. Circles through, goes by two players, tries to center it, cannot, is deflected back. And now it's kicked out. Nice play by Julia Lambert. Here comes Lambert for Concord Carlisle. Lambert with Cuneo hounding her. And a foul called on Cuneo. Play on, it's whacked all the way through. That's touched inside, covered up by Deanne. Devin Barry, and then sent out on a great play by Haley Dubrisky. She helped out her goalkeeper, Drew Devin Barry, who made the first save, but then Dubrisky had to send it out to clear some space. Throw in coming here on the sideline for Concord. A little flurry of offensive action. This is Swenson. She tries to center it, but it's taken by Caitlin Carney, partially fanning on the shot, and Wernig commits a foul. It'll be a free start for Concord Carlisle with only 42 seconds to go in the first half. Con Concord Carlisle shooting into the sun here. I don't know if that's been a factor. It's just been dominant play by the Panthers. Wernig just digs so hard, but Swenson centers it. Panthers trying to clear it. They can, a foul called against Lambert of Concord Carlisle. 20 seconds to go. Can the Panthers put one home before halftime? They lead it two to nothing. This is Emily Carney. Coast to coast, Carney tips it forward, had a player out there, but a foul called, and 10 seconds to go. Emily Carney inside the circle to Caitlin, is too far, and a whistle is gonna stop play, and the clock will run out here in the first half. There's your horn. We've played 30 minutes of two teams worthy of their power rankings. The number seven, Concord Carlisle Patriots against the number five, Franklin High Panthers were at halftime with the Panthers leading it two to nothing. The two goals came, one in the first period by Haley Wernig at 12.56, and later on in the period, Caitlin Carney at 7.53. Those are your two goals. There was no scoring in the second period. So we're gonna pause for our halftime break, and we'll be coming back in just a few minutes for the start of the second half between Franklin and Concord Carlisle, you score at halftime. Franklin two, Concord Carlisle nothing. Stay tuned for the second half next on Franklin TV. Welcome back neighbors to the Beaver Street Field in beautiful Franklin, Mass, where the Panthers have a beautiful two to nothing lead over their new rivals. The first time they've ever played each other in recent years anyway, maybe in the past 20 years. Franklin against Concord Carlisle Regional High School. And so far, it's been two goals by the Panthers, both in the first period. Haley Wernick opened up the scoring with 12.56 to go. 
and then five and minutes and three seconds later, the great player, Caitlin Carney, took it herself inside the scoring circle and fired one past an outstanding goalkeeper in Lorena Neptune, the goalkeeper for Concord Carlisle, but that made it two to nothing. That closed out the first period. In the second period, there was no scoring. Both teams playing it pretty straight, but Neptune made a bunch of saves to keep it at two to nothing. On the other side of the ledger, Devin Barry has only been tested one or two times. She made a nice save, and then she was aided by her defense, her midfielder, and that would be, uh, I believe it was Dubrisky, who made a nice save and sent it out of bounds to take the pressure off, and from there, Concord Car Carlisle could not get their offense going. The Panthers will have the center pass to open up period number three and also period number four. Panthers now in their home white. The pink stockings are for Breast Cancer Awareness Week for Franklin High School. The Panthers now will be sh going into the sun. And Concord Carlisle going from left to right. And the Patriots steal it. Steal the opening center pass, or the next pass anyway. Cuneo sends it to Dubrisky, who will send it out of bounds. No, it's kept in by Concord Carlisle. And now a foul called against Franklin. A free hit coming just underway here in the third period. Nice crowd on hand at the Beaver Street Field. Sent through and a foul called this time against Concord Carlisle. The officials today, Brian Ferris and Deanne Munn. Panthers trying to get it into the offensive zone for the first time in the period. Here comes Haley Wernig and Wernick will chip it on the left wing for Peyton Crandall. The Panthers are in the offensive zone and a foul is called against Panthers and it'll be Concord Carlisle with the free hit in. Up along the right sideline, stolen there by a new player out there, Brooke Taylor, who was injured, did not start. She's in the game, good to see it. Brooke Taylor is playing for the Panthers. This is Ella Griffin, foul called on Griffin and the ball will go back to the Patriots. They look a little more fired up here in the third period. They got very little going in the first two. A foul called against Concord Carlisle, and now a trip, a trip here. That was an inadvertent trip as Caitlin Carney inadvertently tripped Julia Lambert. No call on that, here comes Carney. Caitlin in a whistle, and she's called for pushing, I believe, there, or might have hit her body and the ball will go back to the Patriots. So we're still at two to nothing, two minutes into the third period. Pete Royce with you from Beaver Street in Franklin. Some of the field now encased in shadow, just a little bit of sun on the, maybe the middle of the field and to the right side of the Franklin defensive zone. Ball out of bounds, the Panthers will insert it. It's blocked, but a foul called here against Concord Carlisle will go back to the Panthers. Franklin trying to set it up, coming close to the circle, but not in it, and Concord Carlisle takes it back, a foul called on Caitlin Carney. The Panthers on low, but Ella Griffin right on it to make a beautiful midfield save to Brooke Taylor, who is Injured, but she's playing. She did not start, but she's in the game now. Coach Hess told us before the game she was hoping that Brooke Taylor could play, and cer certainly she is. This is Ella Griffin. She launches one back to Wernig. Haley, no, rather Cuneo. Out strong for Emily Carney. Emily has the ball taken back by Concord Carlisle. This is Lambert. Griffin chases it back. Lambert keeps it in bounds. Good speed up the right wing is Julia Lambert. Centering pass, beautiful pass, but Franklin will get some space and clear it partially out. Goes to Kate Lyon, stolen by Brooke Taylor. Taylor at midfield, dribbling it up. Taylor controlling it nicely. Taylor gets through the defense. Taylor gets a pass on the left side for Cuneo. Sophia, no, Peyton Crandall. Peyton, she'll try to center it, she fans on it. 
and that's a illegal stroke by Peyton Crandall, and the ball will go over to Concord Carlisle. With 11 minutes to go in this third period, two to nothing, Franklin holding on. <coughs> Taylor defending. Concord Carlisle, it's Griffin, but it hits her body, and <coughs> it's gonna be play on for Concord Carlisle. With it is gonna be Grace Baker. Cuneo back to cover it for the Panthers. She draws it into the corner, uses her body to protect, and gets it out to Taylor. Brooke Taylor holds it, battling for it there with Baker. Baker comes out with it, and she centers a hard, strong pass in front, right in the scoring zone. Holding and not getting a shot off was Kate Francini. And the Panthers withstand the pressure there. And I think there's going to be a free hit coming or a penalty corner coming up against Franklin. The second penalty corner of the game for Concord Carlisle. Franklin has had five. Let's see what the Patriots can do with it. Down two to nothing. This goal is so important. The next goal, is it going to be two to one or will it be three to nothing? Patriot, uh, Panthers, Concord, Carlisle, inside the zone. They shoot blocked. Dubrisky, the rebound shot, and the rebound is saved. The shot, the save by Devin Barry. Another save by Barry, and it's whistled out to the left side. Devin Barry, tremendous in goal for the Panthers. And now a foul called against Franklin, another penalty corner coming up. But Devin Barry made a, maybe four saves in that sequence. No, it is gonna be a penalty corner. And inserting it on the far side is Kate Francini, the sophomore. Wow, what a defense there by Devin Barry in goal. 9.15 left in the third. Concord Carlisle sends it through. Concord Carlisle, their offense has been perky here in this period. They lose it out of bounds. So Franklin withstands the pressure. It was immense. A good start for it. Concord Carlisle, a whistle and illegal stroke by Shaw Downing. The ball will go back to the Patriots on the far side. Zabriskie sends it out of bounds. It would be a pass in coming for Concord. Getting a little chillier here. Concord Carlisle with the throw in. Caitlin Carney, she's fouled on the play. So the Panthers will have it. Taken back by Concord. Foul called against the Panthers. And here comes the Patriots trying to get on the board for the first time. And into the game for the Panthers is going to be Chloe Essam, the freshman, number 47. This will be Lambert with the free start for the Patriots. They've dominated play here in the third period, but nothing to score, show for it on the board yet. Contact here and a foul called against the call against the Panthers. Some of the Concord Carlisle fans shouting out at the official Deanne Munn. She lets it roll off her back. Ball is centered through, and covering back is Ella Griffin, and ball goes out of bounds, so Griffin will take it up to the 16-yard line, and the Panthers will start there. Midway through the third period, we stay two to nothing. It's been that way since the end of the first period. Panthers will have the throw in. This is Brooke Taylor, did not start. Sends it, hits a leg of a Concord Carlisle Patriot, and Taylor will have it 10 yards upfield. She sends it through. It hops the stick of Essam and chased back by the Patriots who cover it. And now a whistle called here. And there's an interference, and that's a penalty. A penalty called, a penalty called against Emma, Emma Gebhardt. And I could hear the official Deanne Munn shouting, you cannot push. And so the Panthers will play a player up for, I assume, two minutes. Emma Gebhardt in the penalty area. 
Nun Mun, the official, said, you cannot push. And she whistled her out for two minutes. I believe it's a two minute penalty, we'll see. Brooke Taylor steals it. Out in front for Emily Carney to Caitlin. Carney on the nice right wing pass to Wernick. Can't control it. Emily Carney has it back. Carney inside the circle and she's fouled. This is gonna be a penalty corner coming up against Concord Carlisle. This will be their sixth one of the, of the game. The Panthers have given up three and they've been awarded six. Six minutes to go in the third period. So glad you're with us, fans here. We're streaming worldwide and no penalty corner. They just do a play on. Emily Carney, she swings and that's an illegal stroke. Dangerous swing, I guess, is the official call. Brooke Taylor gets a nose in it and tips it away, but she's called for a foul. Here come the Patriots. Coming back quickly, they center it up from right to left. Goes very deep on the far side for Francini. It's gonna be a foul called against the Panthers, and the Patriots will have it with under 5.30 left in the third. Fresh start, here comes Concord Carlisle inside the scoring zone. Heavy traffic, ball is kicked out, and now tipped out with some space for Essam. This is Essam, and she commits a foul. Chloe Essam, no, she was fouled on the play. Now it goes the other way. Foul on Carney, I believe. Gebhardt still in the penalty area for Concord Carlisle. Less than five minutes to go. Free hit here coming for Julia Lambert, the junior, for Concord Carlisle, and she strokes it. It's blocked by Emily Carney. She fans on her shot, trying to backhand her. She controls, uses her body for protection. The ball springs loose to Baker, Grace Baker, with Brooke, with Emma, Ella Griffin on her. Now this is Taylor trying to clear it, cannot. And coming in quickly is Gebhardt. So she's off the penalty area and she comes in, makes her presence felt and draws a, a foul against Franklin. Here comes Concord Carlisle inside the scoring zone. In front, close in there, the save by, I believe that was a save by the Panthers. Lindsey Dennett came in to block it, but a foul call, the penalty corner coming up against Franklin. The fourth one they've committed. And so with four minutes to go, Good look here for Concord Carlisle. They've, I think, played this the best period so far here in the third. It comes out inside the Surring Circle. The shot is blocked on a block by Dubrisky. And it's a foul called against Concord Carlisle. Another fresh start coming for the Panthers. They'll drop it back for Ella Griffin. The sophomore loves to play field hockey. Peyton Crandall. Kicks it, she gets away, no, nope. she was fouled. She keeps going. This is Peyton Crandall with great speed into the offensive zone. Crandall centers it, too strong behind, but it's picked up in there by Cuneo. Sophia on the right side for Downing. Shaw coming through, tries to center it up, does it, trickles through inside the zone. Ball is loose inside the scoring zone. Covered by Cuneo, she fans on the shot and is kicked out and a foul called against Franklin. 2.57 to go in the third. Two to nothing, Franklin holding on. No scoring since midway in the first period. And that's what you would expect from two teams in top 10 rankings in the power rankings in the state. Ball is sent back down to Siri Letary. Siri Letary. It's gonna be Brooke Taylor for the Panthers. Out in the middle for Caitlin Carney. Comes around and she's fouled. Was she in the scoring zone, in the circle? She was. Penalty corner coming up, number six. Number seven for the Panthers. No, it's not. I beg your pardon again. I'm sorry. It's not a penalty corner. It looked like they were marching along the line, but no, it's outside the zone. Essam tries to block it but cannot. Charging through is Hadley Swenson. And now Dubrisky, but a foul on Dubrisky. And the Panthers will go on defense here with under two minutes to go in the third. Devin Barry with some great saves from the Panthers in this period. 
The shot comes all the way through. Kick saved by Barry. I'm not sure that would have counted because it was launched from outside the circle, but she saved it anyway to be sure. But it will be, I believe, Concord with the ball coming in with 1.32 to go here in the third period. Emma Gebhardt has it after serving her penalty. On the far side, it's going to be Kate Francini inside. Panthers coming in. They get a good lick, a good look. Defense closes, and a foul called on Concord Carlisle with 111 left in the third. Ball is sent out there by Lindsey Dennett on the right side for Wernig. Haley, the sophomore with speed. Wernig gets to it, and a foul called here against Wernig, I guess, for pushing off. Less than a minute to go in the third period. Ball is shot up and blocked by Dubrisky, and the foul on Concord Carlisle. 40 seconds left in the third. Ryan Ferris blowing his whistle. He wants a fresh start just beyond midfield for Haley at midfield for Haley Dubrisky. And she'll go short side right, tipped forward by Downing for Wernig. And she comes through, and that's blocked and out of bounds. It'll be Concord Carlisle with the ball with 18 seconds to go in the third period. To midfield, Wernig blocks it. The Panthers have it. Seven seconds to go. Concord, Brooke Taylor for the Panthers. And she loses it, back tipped up there by Griffin, and there's the horn ending the third period. Well, we look at the scoreboard for the last two periods, nothing, nothing. And so we stay two to nothing after three. The scoring came in the first period to recap. Haley Wernig at 12.56 made it one to nothing. Panthers at 7.53, Caitlin Carney made it two to nothing. Panthers, there's been no scoring since then. We've played 30 straight minutes, actually 37 minutes about, without a score after two by the Panthers in the first half of the first period. The Panthers to reset are 8-0-1 on the season. Concord Carlisle also has played nine games. They're 7-1-1. They won their first seven, tied one, and then lost the last one, but they play some very stiff competition. The Panthers 8-0-1, the only partial blemish, a tie in game number three to Foxborough at Foxborough. So we're gonna have 15 more minutes of play here at Beaver Street in Franklin. The Panthers ranked number five in the latest MIAA power rankings up against the number seventh ranked Patriots of Concord Carlisle High School. Pete Roycewicz with you here on camera here today, Melissa Marchese, and also our producer today is Chris Leveron. The Panthers, this is not a league game, but had it been, they would be going for their 56th straight Hockamock League win. They've run 55 in a row, going back over two years now. But this is a non-league game, so that streak is not part of the picture here tonight. It's been outstanding goalkeeping. First, in the first half, it was Lorena Neptune who made save after save after save for the Patriots in the third quarter turning the tables was the Panthers goalkeeper, Devin Barry, the freshman. She made some beautiful saves. So there's some conversation on the far side with the captains and the officials. I am not sure what that's all about. It'd be nice to be a fly on the wall and in that conversation, but Brian Ferris was officiating that conversation. He breaks it up and we're almost ready to start the fourth and final period. Next up for the Panthers is a game tomorrow at Milford. And so we go back to Hockamock League action. So the Panthers will be playing back-to-back -back nights. And a tough game here today. We'll see how they do tomorrow. Milford not a powerhouse in the Hockamock League, so that might help the Panthers, but it's a Hockamock League game. They're always pretty good, pretty competitive. But the Panthers with dominance when you look at a streak of 55 straight Hockamock League victories, an unbelievable streak. 
they have had a tie in there to Foxborough, but no losses. So it'll be a center pass coming for the Panthers. 15 minutes to go. The sun has set. So it's all lighting here, but the big light poles on the field. Count two, three, four of them illuminating this Beaver Street artificial turf. And Caitlin Carney will have the center pass. We're underway here in the fourth period to her sister Emily. Emily winds up and lets it go to Caitlin at midfield. Caitlin is fouled on the play. She'll come through. Caitlin Carney on the charge, spinning around. 360, her shot gets a player in front. Carney steals it, and she shoots it again all the way through, and it's in. Caitlin Carney. It might have been tipped. I'm not sure if that was tipped or not. I think that might have been tipped. We'll wait for the official call. It's three to nothing in any event. That breaks a long scoring drought. It might have been tipped. Carney let it go, but the ball might have been tipped in front of the goal. We'll wait for the scoring table to let us know officially. In any event, it's three nothing. The score comes with 14.42 left. Big goal, that's the goal we talk about. When it's two to nothing, it can become two to one or three to nothing. When it's three to nothing, you have a little bit of breathing room. But it's a strong team nonetheless that the Panthers face in Concord Carlisle. Ball is loose, centering up, coming through, right in front, knocked out of there by Dennett, Lindsey Dennett. And the Panthers control it again. Now they try to start up. No, it was a goal by Haley Wernig they give him the assist to Carney, and Werner gets her second goal with an assist to Carney. So just like we thought, we thought it was tipped in front of the goal, so it's Wernig with her second goal of the game, assisted by Caitlin Carney. Panthers have it at midfield. It hops a stick, and into the backfield comes Bryn Chafee. And she's going to go down in a foul called against, I believe, Dubrisky for the Panthers. Tough grinded out game here tonight. Pass coming in on the far side by Concord Carlisle. They get it back. Working it around. It's one thing, they haven't done a lot of passing. They've been blocked in a lot of their passing lanes in a whack off Peyton Crandall. Oh, that hit her right on the hip. Peyton Crandall, and that is a wicked shot that she just took. Seems to shaking it off. Wow, she took a wicked hit. Ella, Ella Griffin controlling it. The sophomore out of bounds. It'll be off Griffin. It'll be Concord Carlisle ball. 12.30 left in the game. With it is Kate Lyons for Concord. Nice move by Lyons. She gets through three defenders, but the Panthers cover it. This is Lindsay Dennett. No, Emily, Emily Carney, rather. Carney tries to send it out to her sister, and they double team and make the steal. Peyton Crandall, and she goes out of bounds. Good, good work by Peyton Crandall and Caitlin Carney. This is Emma Gebhardt for Concord. And she goes out of bounds with it. And with it now is going to be Maeve Ralston. Ralston, the freshman, got a start today because of the injury to Taylor. But Taylor is, has been back in the game. Ralston is, commits a foul. Here comes Concord Carlisle. With it for Concord is Kate Lyons. And she turns it over. And Ralston wins the battle there. And she leaves it for Ella Griffin. Griffin, pass to Ralston. Maeve, using the stick. Can only hit it with that flat, flat side. She has to turn it over. Foul called on Ralston. Here comes Lambert for Concord. Griffin loses her stick. Lambert centers it off the leg of Cuneo. And let's see what they call here. A start from outside the 16 yard line for Lambert. And she shoots it, hits a player to Ralston, 
and here a foul called inside the circle. It will be a penalty corner against the Panthers. That's their fifth. They've been the ben beneficiary of six. So far, Concord has not scored on one of their previous four penalty corners. And they'll try to make it one for five on this insert here from the far side. They get it inside, now in front, working it through. It trickles through and the goal. So the penalty corner pays off and Concord Carlisle scores it. Kate Francini was the one I believe who scored it. Kate Francini, they worked the penalty corner beautifully with the passing and Francini at 10.26 makes it three to one. And how important was that last goal by Haley Wernig? Three to one. Once again, a two goal game. And once again, that next goal is so important as it'll be Caitlin Carney with the draw on center, the center pass. And she'll take it, go forward with it. Carney inside the offensive zone, coming through. Her backhander is blocked. It trickles through. Now it's blocked beautifully by Concord Carlisle. Francini, who scored the goal with it. Franklin comes back to tip it away and stop it. Haley Dubrisky, she's played a strong game for the Panthers. And coach Michelle Hess. Ball out of bounds. Throw, pass coming in on the far side by the Patriots. Can they be sparked by that goal? Crandall comes through, makes the steal. And a foul, though, called on Crandall. By foul, I mean it might have hit her on her leg. And a free start for Gebhardt and Concord Carlisle. Patriots with it. This is Lambert, hounded by Essam. And Essam makes the steal and a foul, an elbow called, a push off called on Essam. And it'll be Lambert with the ball for the Patriots. A looper covered by Emma, Emily Carney. And she'll go back pedal with it, send it low on a nice pass to Haley Wernig. Haley with the speed on the right wing. Wernig is blocked on the far side, but it's a foul called against Concord Carlisle with nine minutes straight up left in the game. Centering pass. Carney tries to get to it, cannot. Kept in by Dubrisky on a nice save to Wernig. And Haley goes to work on the far side. And it goes out of bounds. Wernig with the play in. No, it's Shaw Downing, I beg your pardon. Ball is out of bounds to the baseline and it'll be coming back the other way for the Patriots of Concord Carlisle with eight and a half minutes to go. Three to one in this power ranking laden game. The number seven Patriots against the number five Panthers in the latest MIAA power rankings. Back with it is Hadley Swenson to midfield. With it is Lambert. She tips it on the right side for Kate Lyons. Lyons gets it upfield further. This is Bruce, rather Grace Baker. Now it goes to Essam. Her ball is sent to midfield. Carney comes by and she commits a foul even though she goes down. It's Emma Gebhardt with it. And it, her ball goes out of bounds on the baseline. It should be the Panthers with the ball coming back the other way. We're almost midway through the fourth period. The first period was controlled by the Panthers. Then it was scoreless for two and three periods, second and third period, and the Patriots get on the board here in the fourth period. Exactly midway through the fourth period now. Three to one, Franklin, trying to go to nine, zero oh and one on the season. And I'll tell you this, fans, with this big game against Concord Carlisle with such a high ranking, ranking you get extra points to beat a team like this, I do believe. If they, Franklin can go on, perhaps they'll move up from number five. Here's the rush by Concord Carlisle, but Caitlin Carney stops it, and she's fouled on the play. No, it's going to be Lindsay Dennett with a nice play. Dennett makes the stop for Wernig. Haley comes through. She's fouled on the play, and she'll take it back, and she'll send it up on the right wing. Caitlin Carney tries to steal it and does. Caitlin that patented 360 spin move of her. She's fouled again. 
Under seven minutes to go now in the game. Temperature cooling off quite a bit. And a whistle, a foul called on Concord Carlisle. This is Carney, her backhander whizzes by. She had to have a teammate touch that, but they both missed it. She had two players there, Peyton Crandall and S. Chloe Essen were out there, but it went by both of them. And out of bounds for a free hit coming for the Patriots with 6.08 left. Essam steals it for the Panthers. Chloe Essam dribbles it into the corner. Chloe centers it, comes all the way through, but behind the goal, hits the side of the net and out of bounds. It'll be awarded, let's see, did they say it touched Concord Carlisle? We will see for the official call. No, yes, it did touch them. So this is Emily Carney with it. Emily. Tries to get it down low. Concord steals it. Sticks flying. Caitlin Carney lost her stick. Play on. Concord Carlisle with it. Tipped back by the Panthers. Nice play there by Haley Dubrisky. But Concord has it to midfield on the rush. They have open space on the left. With it there is Kate Francini. She's got the goal for the Concord Carlisle Patriots. This time it's hit out of bounds by Emily. No, saved by Wernig. Comes out of nowhere to make the save. She was just lurking there and caught it. Here comes Wernig again. Wernig on the right. It's complete to Caitlin Carney. 2 on one Panthers. Carney coming in. Pass to Peyton Crandall all alone. The shot, the save. The rebound, the shot, and the save. Another save by their great goalkeeper, Neptune. Three in a row. The Panthers had a two-on-one break. They worked it beautifully, the shot, and it misfires, and it's kicked out by Lorena Neptune, the defensive star of this game. The Panthers had a beautiful two-on-one, and Carney made the pass, but Crandall's shot was blocked on a spectacular save. Here's Essen back for Peyton Crandall again. Crandall loses it, and Concord Carlisle will take it out on the right side. What a flurry of wonderful activity here in this game. The ball hits Ella Griffin, and it's going to go back to Concord Carlisle. They're going to send it down on the right wing. This will stay in bounds. No, it goes out of bounds with four minutes and two seconds left. Three to one, Panthers. What a game this has been. Ella Griffin fans on the shot. Now she gets it through to Emily Carney. Emily on the right wing for... Shaw Downing, Downing in the middle of the field. Here comes Shaw, Downing dribbling it through. Downing with great control. Both sides flipping the stick to Peyton Crandall in front. Her centering pass in front, spinning through is Caitlin Carney. She can't get the shot off in heavy traffic. Comes out for Essam. Essam will try the backhander. Her shot to Carney, her shot is blocked. What pressure by the Panthers. Essam tries to save it but it's to the stick of a Patriot. And out comes Concord Carlisle with 3.12 left, still plenty of time. This is Alex Carduz. Carduz, her shot is blocked by Cuneo and a foul called on Cuneo with three minutes to go in the game. Exciting action here on Franklin TV and streaming worldwide on YouTube. Free hit coming for Kate Lyons. Lions blast it in center. There's a good position there. Fanning on the shot right there was Cadley Swenson. They had a good look. That might have made it a one-point game if that ball was sent through but not blocked. Wernig with that speed, but it's turned back. Here come the Patriots again. 2.30 left. Out in front, stolen by Franklin. Emily Carney to Caitlin. And a foul called. Caitlin still with it. Caitlin Carney up in midfield. Again, a nice break here. Carney comes through. She's going to shoot. And the score. Carney tucked it into the corner of the goal. Caitlin Carney, that might have gone off Neptune. And Carney gets the goal. And that takes a lot of the pressure off. Caitlin Carney scores with 2.13 left to make it 4-1 to one Panthers. And the Panther fans breathe a little deep sigh of relief 
Here we go with the final now, 2-10, four to one. Essam tips it out. Coming back is Francini, or rather, Kate Lyons. Now to, Bru uh, to uh, Baker. Wernig sends it out of bounds, or Cuneo sends it out of bounds. It'll be a free hit coming for the visitors from Concord Carlisle. 1.45 to go. Panthers wanting to go to 9 0 and 1 on the season. Panthers send it out of bounds. It takes some time off the clock. Picked up right in front of us by Sira Letteri. This is Letteri, a junior. 90, 80 seconds left. Emma Griffin, she commits a foul. Got herself involved there and poked it away. Kills some time. Kate Lyons has it for Concord Carlisle with 1.10 to go. This was a game that Coach Michelle Hess wanted to schedule for stiff competition. And she got it. She got her wish. And the Panthers have lived up to it. With a 4-1 to one lead, we're in the final minute of play. Stolen by Carduz. Carduz on the right side. The shot is fanned on by Baker, Grace Baker. And the ball will go to the Panthers with 40 two seconds to go in the game. Devin Barry has been great in goal. Let one through, but it was a tough shot that she had to block and she couldn't do it. Panthers will have it with 30 seconds to go. The body language of Concord Carlisle look not too good at the moment. Essam, she'll loop it. And it gets through one defender. Caitlin Carney goes down, picked up in there by Letteri. 15 seconds to go. And as usual, Wernig hustling for it, foul on Wernig. Sent the other way inside the circle. Eight seconds to go. Play on, this is Baker. She sends one through in front. Essam will clear it, and that's the buzzer. The Panthers go out and greet their outstanding goalkeeper, Devin Barry, all out to see Barry. Hugs from Caitlin Carney and the rest of the crew. Now the substitute players come out to Greet Barry, what a job she did. The Panthers win it four to one. They go to nine, oh, and one on the season. To recap the scoring, the first quarter, it was Haley Wernig makes it one to nothing. And then the next goal was scored by the Panthers. Also in that first period by Caitlin Carney made it two to nothing. No scoring in periods two and three. In the fourth, one goal for Wernig to make it three to nothing. That's her second of the game. And then Kate Francini for Concord Carlisle. Unofficially, she scored it. And Caitlin Carney makes it two goals for Carney. And that sealed the deal with 2.13 to go, made it a four to one game. So the Panthers most likely will move up now in the power rankings. They were at number five. They beat a number seven power ranked team in Concord Carlisle today. That's gonna do it for our coverage. I'd like to thank our copper camera operator, Melissa Marchese. Also our producer today is Chris Leverone. This is Pete Royce, the final score for the final time from Beaver Street Field in Franklin. The Panthers four, the Patriots one. Till next time, so long neighbors. <laughs>